YouTube Birdman coming at you. All right, so <clears throat> let me just get into this. Before I get into this, now I was actually like gonna do it uh, besides the video or whatever else, but I forgot that I want to put this on YouTube or whatever else. So I'm gonna explain this the best way that I can. Obviously, coming at you from the bird cave, um, <clears throat> doing a little bit of customization on the old kit. This is uh, a Phariseum rod. Uh, I got off Amazon for like 20 bucks. I'll send you the link in the description. And uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this thing is freaking massive, okay? It's huge. I love all the uh, YouTube videos and seeing how they customize their own Faro rods or whatever else. So I want to do bird's take on it, and I'm going to do the best that I can to uh, show you guys. So check this out, all right? This project, um, even though it wasn't the most uh, in-depth project in the world, uh, it meant a lot to me because this is gonna be part of my everyday kit for um, practicing bushcraft and whatever else. And uh, the reason why it was so special to me is because everything was pretty much uh, made myself and you know handcrafted and everything, and uh, even finding the bones outside. And just took a piece of paracord and I was going to cinch another piece of paracord on here and just have it so I can adjust, but I didn't feel like it. I mean, I felt like I could just wear this around my neck, and uh, it's a nice piece of customized kit. So, it's pretty special to me. And uh, this is going to be included in my everyday bushcraft kit. So, I mean, I love it. And uh, just wanted to share that project with you guys and uh, take you along for the ride and show you how I made it. 
um, I would love if you guys would give me some kind of comments, um, even post your own uh, projects as far as like ferrule rods or any kind of customized kit. I'd love to see it. So um, until the next video, this is Bird signing off. And as always, see you on the outside.